Thank you. Can I ask just a very quick question, really? Given it's the centenary of, of the First World War, you must have been completely inundated with options and choices of, you know, huge bang explosion war films, very tragic love stories. But Testament to You, Fear of Britain's Story, yeah. is incredibly moving, but, but far truer than, than many, I guess, and a real testament to lost youth and, and hope and activism. Yeah. What was it that made you want to tell this story as opposed to any other? You know, I'm, I wasn't primarily interested in it being a war story. I was interested in it being a love story and being a story also about an extraordinary young woman. It actually ends up with a very strong political attitude about war and she lived with that for the rest of her life. Um, and so I suppose in a way, behind the film, there is this singular message to each and every one of us, which is don't hide under duvet, go out there, grab life. It will be some horrible moments. It will give you some wonderful moments. But in the end, everything will enrich you as a human being and will give you the confidence to, in a way, create your own philosophy about life. And you'll be able to teach that to younger people when you grow old. And I think that's something that she teach. She taught me, actually. And I think it will teach everybody who goes to the cinema and sees this film. That's Vera Britain's legacy. I think that's Vera Britain's legacy. And I think because of that, that film is always going to be topical. It's every... In a way, it should be remade every 40, 50 years because it, it, it has something to say to every generation. And the other thing it says is to young people, never trust your elders. They took us into a war in which almost a million young British men died. A million, imagine how many that is. And they said it would be over within eight or nine weeks, and it isn't. And we're still learning that today in more contemporary wars. Never trust, go with your gut. Hello, James. I'm Kassam from Hey You Guys. Hi. Hello. Lovely. Thank you. Um, my question was, um, you've obviously got a lot of strong source material in terms of the literature. How did you go about making the film look as authentic as it does? Because I think it looks fantastic. Well, thank you very much indeed. I mean, I happen to be uh, many years a documentary maker, so I have quite a strong grasp of reality. And I did films in Auschwitz and in war zones. And I brought some of that sensibility, hopefully, to this film. I didn't want to cut corners. Uh, because if you cut corners, the audience won't understand what Vera Britton went through. And therefore, they won't understand understand why she's so passionate at the end of the film about war and the uh, evils of war. So um, I hope I brought a kind of truth to the film, but I also hope I brought a kind of beauty to it because I, I kind of in love with beautiful things and I, I want people to experience the beauty of cinema. And there's obviously a lot of truth and beauty in the cast as well. Um, how, how, what was the casting process like? Did you spend a long time finding the right people for the roles? You know what? They are in such demand, these young actors, that it was incredibly hard to know whether they would do it. And, 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 and each and everyone did it. So I think the script spoke to them. You know, it's quite, important, quite difficult to find films that have real depth and gravitas to them. And A Testament of You undoubtedly has that. You know, nobody making this film, engaged in it, acting in it, had any doubt that they were doing something really worthwhile. And I think that's why we got such a superb cast. Excellent, thank you. Thank you.